I'm here in my kitchen with the ingredients to make a homemade marinara sauce. So, right here I have a bunch of tomatoes from the vine. I'm not sure how many pounds I got, but um, as you can see, there's like quite a few tomatoes in there. I have an onion, um, some garlic, I have some sugar, some Celtic salt, a little bit, uh, well not a little bit, actually a lot of apple cider vinegar. And this is the, where I got the recipe um, from this cookbook that I've had forever, Ultimate Sub and Living. So I kind of just use that recipe as like a guide and um, add a few different things like the apple cider vinegar and, um, you know, like the, the succinate. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so in here, um, you see I have some cut tomatoes. They're not chopped because this blender is pretty powerful. So I'm just going to put the lid on. Okay, so that's all blended up. So now I'm just going to take this. I have quite a few tomatoes, so I have to kind of do it in stages. I'm just going to pour this in here. Okay, so I have about four cloves of garlic here, and I'm just going to break that like that. Get the little outer skin off, and I'm going to chop these up and get, the, get them ready to... Okay, so I have my um, Dutch oven, and the heat's up pretty high. So I'm going to take some olive oil and just really coat the bottom of the pan with it and kind of let it heat up a bit. And then I'm going to saute my garlic and onions, or onions and garlic, in here like this. So that's not super hot. You can let it get a little bit hotter, but... I'm going to just let this all cook up. Kind of hear it sizzling a bit. Now, and I'll toss all that garlic in here. So, once I kind of saute this to where they kind of start to, um, you know, get a little clear kind of start to wilt or melt, not really melt, but I don't know what the term is, down a bit. Then I'm going to add my, um, my salt and my sugar. You're supposed to put like fresh herbs in here, but I forgot to get some from the grocery store and I happen to be out of dried herbs in my pantry. So yes, I'm going to make this marinara sauce without any herbs, but you know, feel free to add whatever kind of herbs that you like um, to the mix. Okay, so now these are looking like how I want them and you know, you can smell it a bit. So, I have my sugar here, which this is like a raw sugar, suck or not. And I'm just kind of eyeballing this. So, I'm making a lot. So, it really depends on how much you're making, how much sugar or salt you want to add. And here's my gray sea salt. So, I'm just going to... I'll probably end up adding some more after I put the um, puree tomatoes in. So, and now is when you would add the fresh or dry herbs, but since I don't have any, <laughs> I'm not adding them. So, I just want to stir that up a bit, and I'm going to reach over here, and remember, oops, these were the tomatoes that we pureed earlier, and I'm just going to pour all that down in here, and we're going to let that start to cook down. Okay, so typically the recipe calls for lemon, but I don't use lemons anymore. So I'm just adding probably about, you know, a couple of tablespoons or so of the apple cider vinegar to act as a lemon. So I have this all stirred up and I'm going to let this boil and cook for about 30 minutes or so and then we'll check it again. Okay, so you see the sauce 
has actually kind of started to change colors and get a bit darker. And we have a nice rumbling royal, I mean royal, um, rolling boil here. So I'm just going to give this a stir. And I'm going to turn my heat down to probably about medium low because I want this to reduce down a lot so that it's, you know, that like it's a kind of like a thick sauce consistency. So you do need to check it from time to time. So I just wanted to give this a quick stir. Hmm, smelling really great, especially with using like the fresh tomatoes. And then I'm just going to turn my fire down to low and we'll check it again in about another 20 minutes. Okay, so it's been about 30 minutes and you can see the sauce is a nice deep red color. So, like if you don't mind your sauce being uh, not so thick, you can actually just turn it off and have it like this. But I really want, you can kind of tell, like see where the edge of this line was that the sauce has reduced down. But I really want my sauce to be a bit thicker. So I'm going to just let mine um, reduce down to how I want it. But basically, this is a, a really simple, easy, quick, um, homemade marinara recipe that you can use using fresh tomatoes, um, onion, garlic, and a few other ingredients. I'm going to use some of this in a soup, can the rest of it, like put it in some of my canning jars, and put it in the refrigerator and label it. Let me know what you think or if you decide to give this a try.